completed day one of cycling. We've made it to a little boulder campground. <laughs> and Billy's got his shorts off already. <laughs> and uh, it. yeah, it's, it's kind of hot, but we're dealing with it. And uh, more to come. It's 97 degrees out. And we are walking up the hill. And there's no shade, except for a little in the distance. Hotel camping. All right, I'm on the trail of the Coeur d'Alene. It's a really nice trail. It's all level and shady right now, so we're doing good. That's the most shopping, most happening right now. Alright, day four is beginning. It's a nice cool 52 degrees, so we're hitting the road at 6 a.m. and hoping to just go about 30 miles today to have an easy day. miles from Pinehurst to somewhere past uh, some other town, Murray. Murray. And uh, it's only 10.30 in the morning, but we're stopping now because it's starting okay. to get really freaking mm -hmm. hot. And look what we found. All right, we're camping here just outside of Murray. That would be Murray, Idaho to our little riverfront resort here where we found a couple of chairs. So it's uh, only about 92 and there's a good wind blowing. All right, day five is beginning. We're leaving our campsite just outside of Murray. And this morning we're gonna get up and over Thompson Pass, our first real big uh, mountain pass to climb over. Yeah, we're pushing. All right, we made it to Thompson Pass. Now we got about 20 miles of downhill.
do you have to say for yourself today? We made it. <laughs> Good morning, we're just pulling out of Findlay Flats. It's a Sunday morning. Whew, a little windy here. And we're hoping to get something to eat pretty quick. Day six continues. We're here at the Bull Run Campground, and it's kind of nice since it's Sunday. All the weekend uh, campers have gone home, and we've got the place kind of door south. Some other people around, but really quiet and uh, not too hot. Only about 92. All right, we're out here in the wilderness. All we need really is some. Well, we kind of got a bar set up here. Well, we need some bartender. Here. Hey, bartender! I got whiskey. I got beer. I got snaps. I got one naked woman. Just for you, sir. Found a power outlet. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Good morning, day seven is beginning. Yeah, it's only like 49 degrees right now, but it feels really good. morning traffic at 8.30 in Montana. Alright, we're here in day two in Libby, Montana. We decided we were going to stay two nights here at the hotel. As we've ridden seven days in a row, we wanted to take a little bit of a break. As it turns out, there is a new forest fire that just started overnight from lightning strikes right up in Eureka, so that's our route. They're talking about evacuating near Eureka, but we walk down to the forest station uh, where there's a forest ranger, and he said that the roads are open and it shouldn't be too bad. So tomorrow morning we're going to get up and ride through probably smoky areas, but we'll see how it goes, but that's our plan for now. Wednesday, August 9th, I believe. We're pulling out of Libby. We've been here two nights. Took a zero yesterday to recoup. And now we're heading towards Eureka. Eureka!
we're here at uh, Peck Gulch and it's starting to rain, which after all the hot weather we've had, feels kind of nice. So we kind of have to scurry and get everything in the bear box and we're going to get in our tents here in a second, I think. Well, we think today's Thursday, but we're not really sure. And we're just about to pull out of Peck Gulch on what I think is our 11th day. So, um, yeah, we're losing track. I guess that's a good thing. So we're going to be heading out of here and hopefully crossing into Canada today. Hey. Eh? Yeah, the road into the campground was really steep, so we're pushing our bikes back out. All right, we're only a couple miles from the border. 